everyone, Retro Girls UK is back for a brand new video. I'm just about to watch a brand new Blu ray that I bought from HMV a couple of days ago Night of the Animated Dead. So, I'm going to be doing a little review on this film. So, hopefully, it's a good one because I've heard really good things about it and I've been looking forward to it. So, let's give it a go. So before we watch the movie, I thought I'd give you a little unboxing to see if there's anything special inside. So it does come with a slip cover and it's got special feature on the making of the animated dead just there. So it's basically the animated version of the 1968 Night of the Living Dead. But the box is a little bit smaller than the slip cover for some reason. Get me a little trusty knife. I think impossible is trying to reach me. <laughs> Let's take all this off. So it's basically the same on the slip cover. So yeah, it is the animated version of Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, reflection, sorry, my fault. And it's got just a plain blue disc. And it's age rating 15, even though it's an animated film. So hopefully it's a good one. So let's give it a go. A few moments later. That's a nice menu, isn't it? It is. Can't wait. Look at that. Brilliant. One hour later. Before Lisa does her review, I'm just going to include a short little clip of the special feature that's on the Blu ray. Especially at that time, taking the stand. How relevant that story is. 50 years later is a testament to the original piece. We wanted to show how powerful Okay, so I've just finished watching Night of the Animated Dead. So it's basically an animated version of Night of the Living Dead, which was 1968, the black and white one. Uh, I thought it was a really good take on the old film. I thought the picture and the sound quality was absolutely brilliant, so I don't think a 4K version will be necessary. And Enzo's come to join us today, hold him like a baby, don't even move. What? What did you think of it, Shelley? It was okay. I just didn't like the animation. I am behind the camera, so hello. What was wrong with the animation? Oh, uh, it was okay. I just, I just didn't like the film in general. It's just, uh. So basically, the film started off where two siblings were going to. Uh... Actually, so it's saying that the animation was good because I watched animation. That I just yeah. don't like that film in general in any way. Mm. So basically, the film started off where two siblings went to their uh, to visit their father's grave, and then obviously we all know that zombie goes to attack them. So the girl went to run off to a farmhouse where there was other survivors. I think there were six in total. So they took her in and they barricaded the whole uh, farmhouse. There was one particular character that I didn't really like. I think his name was Ben, the dad. He was an absolute asshole to his missus. What happened to him, he definitely deserved that, in my opinion. But, obviously I've watched the older, but I haven't watched it in years. And then when I seen the ending, it was an absolutely ridiculous ending. But after the movie, we watched the special features, where they compared the old one to the new one. So, the live action to the animated, the, both scenes at the same time. And it actually does end like that in the... Uh, old film as well but saying that i did like the gore and the animation i like that part it's just i didn't like the story though because that blonde girl was like who said saying the zombie apocalypse <laughs> who said saying the zombie apocalypse was going oh let me just let the zombies eat me <laughs> yeah because basically the zombies got through the like the barricade of the windows and all that shit and then this woman was getting pulled into the zombies and then the blonde girl, Barbara, I think her name was, was just sitting on the sofa watching her. She could have just made herself a fucking cup of tea or something, watching her like that. But, oh yeah, come and take her, I don't mind. But overall, I thought it was a good fit. In my opinion, I actually preferred the animation to the live action, so I'd probably give it a solid 7 out of 10. What would you rank it, Cheryl? What would you rank Five, it? 5, middle, 50-50. I like... For the animation rate it seven for mm. the storyline maybe a six ish. The girl is just if that girl was in there, then maybe different it really wants you. Yeah, so overall it was a good film. So that was Night of the Animated Dead. This slip cover is still do, still doing me adding this little box. 
but overall good film if you like your uh zombie films and this is definitely the one for you i think they should I think they don't make enough zombie animated films, but I don't know whether to put this with the anime or whether to put it with the horrors. Comment down below what shelf you would put it on, or if you just mix it in with your Blu-ray because you ain't got OD, o o -D. OCD, you don't really give a shit. <laughs> like us, we have to have everything in a particular order. So that was our little review of Night of the Animated Dead. It's seven ninety nine at H&V exclusive. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment and share. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.